Hi. So I'm going to tell you a story. This is a very old story. Um, there's lots of different versions, but the main idea was that there was an old king and he had a servant who had done some amazing work for him, something so fantastic that the king said, right, you can have any reward that you would like. So the servant went away and he had a thing and he came back and he said, what I would like is for you to get your chessboard and on the first day to put one grain of rice on the, on the first square. On the second day to double that. So the next square will have two grains of rice. And on the third day to double that again. So four grains of rice. And on the fourth day we'll double that again. So how many grains of rice on the fourth day? Eight. 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 Good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got a couple extra. And carry on until the whole board is full. So for 64 days. So the king laughed. He thought, well, he could have asked for anything. And this is what he's asking for. So what do we think? Do you think that this is a good request from the servant? Do you think the king was right to laugh? No. No? You think it was a good request or not a good request? No. No? Okay. You don't have much right. I don't think. So let's have a look at the numbers and we'll see. So on the first day we've said we'll have one grain of rice. The second day, two. The third day, we're going to have four. We're doubling each time, aren't we? Fourth day, we said eight. What if we double eight, what will we get? 16. Good, and if we double 16? 32. Well done. And the next day, if we double the 32, we'll get? 64. Good. And if we double 64, 128. Awesome. And if we double 128, 256. Well done. And double 256, 512. Well done. What about if we double 512? 1024. Good, and we can go on and on. But you can see that these numbers started out small, jumped up pretty quickly by day 11. Um, I'm not going to work them all out, but the total grains of rice that the servant ended up getting was a very big number. Any idea how big? Shall um, I write it on here, see if you can yes. read it? Ooh, let's keep going. And one more lot of zeros. How many zeros have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Eighteen. So we've got eighteen and eighteen zeros, which is otherwise known as eighteen quintillion pieces of rice. So I don't think that servant was hungry for a long, long time. But this is a really good example of exponential growth. So instead of the grains of rice or something increasing um, at a constant rate, it's um, increasing with a constant ratio. So it's doubling each time. So it's, it gets bigger really quickly. And this is, you probably heard of exponential growth recently. If you've seen any of the graphs on TV or on the news um, showing the rate of increase of people with coronavirus. So you might have seen a graph that sort of starts off slowly and suddenly shoots right up. Um, so this is how exponential growth works, which is why it's so important for us to stay at home and not to be going out and spreading the virus because it does increase at a really quick rate. Um, and the other thing is it's a horrible situation but it's a really good example of how mathematicians or how people are using maths now to look at data, to analyse it, to look at patterns, and then to see how we can use it to help solve the problem. So whenever my GCSE students are in class and asking me, well, when will I use this in real life? Now is a, is a perfect example.